I was a teacher, uh, a primary and secondary school teacher, and then I started working at a university. And when I was started teaching, I never used technology in class. I wouldn't let my students use it. I didn't even use PowerPoints. I was purely a lecturer and tell funny stories and, and try to get students um, engaged that way, but I didn't use technology at all. I thought it was purely a distraction for my students. One student changed all of that for me. Uh, his name was Kareem, and Kareem was from Lebanon, and he uh, had a 3.7 GPA and spoke four languages. Um, brilliant, funny, um, great kid, and he showed up in my college course one day and said, uh, this is my story. And what had happened to Kareem was his senior year as a secondary student in high school. He was at a Christmas party with his family, and essentially what happened is they were hit by a drunk driver on their way home, and he, he suffered a pretty traumatic brain injury, and he went into a coma for about six months, and then he went into rehab uh, for about another six months, so uh, he was kind of out of commission for about a year and a half, and with this traumatic brain injury, the biggest thing for Kareem was that he lost all of his short-term memory. So he could be talking to me, turn around, and could turn back to me and, and not know that I existed or what we, much less what we had talked about. Um, until he did that quite a few times and it worked its way into his long-term memory. So he told me a story and I said, Kareem, I wanna help you, but I have no idea how to do that. And he said, well, he said, I have a phone. And he said, if um, I can use my phone in class, that will really help me. He said, because I can you know, video some of your lectures. He said, I can take pictures of the notes that you write on the board. Um, and he said, and I can also, if you'll go through the syllabus with me before we get started, I can put reminders in my calendar and reminders in my alarms about when I have things due. And he said, that will really, really, really help me. And for me, that was when that light bulb went on. And it was like, you know, for, for Kareem, it wasn't about being a distraction. This was the only way he was gonna be able to learn. The kid was incredibly bright. He just needed this device to help him learn much like anyone who wears glasses needs glasses to help them see. So it wasn't a question of whether it was fair or unfair, it was just helping Kareem learn. And it took Kareem an extra year of school, but he went through college, he graduated, and now he has a master's degree and a job um, because myself and a few other instructors were able to work with him. But without that device, he would have never made it. And for me, that was when my whole world and my whole view of technology and what it could do in the classroom really changed. And it made me think, this is not just about Kareem, this is about any kid who has some type of disadvantage, whether it's um, in another part of the world, a, a student who isn't allowed to go to school because of their gender or because of their physical disability. They can't get to school because they're in a wheelchair and there's no pavement. It could be about um, mobility, a kid that's in a rural area who can't get into school. and so. These are all issues that technology makes learning accessible for those who, who don't oftentimes have access to, to, to learning. And, and I think that's really, really critical. And so that's where I got more involved with doing technology resource um, research, doing, uh, using technology in my class from both platforms to mobile technology, and really making sure that I was an advocate for technology. Because again, it's not just about being a distraction. It's not just about making it trendy. Technology is about helping kids learn and helping them learn in a more effective manner.